So far we've seen various ways of creating widgets or uploading existing widgets. Uh, in this example I'm going to show you how to create a simple widget from scratch. We're going to create this simple Hello World widget. So if I first show you what I have in my Hello World folder, as so you can see I have an image, I have an HTML document, I have a style sheet and a small icon image and a config file. Let's first have a look at what's in the HTML document. We'll go into the programmers file editor and as you can see it's actually a very very simple document. All this stuff is basically uh, things you don't need to mess around with unless you have your own style sheet. Um, what's actually being written on the screen is what we have here. You can see that was what it used to show you when all the first times I showed this widget. So now we'll just add another line for the second time. And then this is what it describes with a headline 1 or header 1 um, font size and, uh, and this is an ordinary paragraph line and here is the image that's inserted in the name of the image. And if we just click at the HTML document you can see this is what it actually displays and now I'll just save it and reload that one. Now you can see it has added the line for the second time. So this is what this particular document does. It's actually a piece of HTML that can show something in a browser, an image and some text. And now we just have to turn it into a widget and that's all done with this config XML file. So you can see it's also a very simple file. I've res sort of removed everything that isn't absolutely necessary. Uh, the key part of it is for you to give it an ID. As you can see this is standard part of it and then you can actually write a name and I've sort of as a, my own convention added underscore and my initials to the name so that if other people create hello world widgets I won't overwrite their copies of those uh, but this is something that Chris Poppet will be looking into, uh, finding a more safe way of creating an ID. And you can see we have a width and a height for the width, widget. Uh, we have a name for the widget, a description. And then this line is where the actual sort of magic is done. This is pointing to the content of the widget. So this is my opening document, the index HTML. Uh, that's going to be all that the widget shows and then I can add my own little icon for widgets so that I can see uh, which widgets I've uploaded to the store and I can add my name as the author. So this is what it takes to convert the contents of that folder into a widget. So let's go back to the folder, we'll select everything and we'll create a zip file using WinZip so we now have the Hello World zip and then we'll just give it a different type name WGT for widget and say yes to changing the type name. So let's go back into the widget store and have a look at uploading the new widget and you can see I'm in my hello world folder you can see it up here and here is the hello world widget that we just created you can see. and then I'll just click open and it'll be uploaded and again we can view it and now you can see we have the new version hello world here I am for the second time so that's what it takes to create a simple widget that you can then use from any platform that allows you to add wookie uh, widgets